Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. This is Sharon, but you knew that already. <laughs> well, you see our little disclaimer up there on that screen? Take a few seconds to read over that. And we'll jump right into our story after you uh, read that, okay? And I'm your co-host, Jamal, as always. Yes, as always. Well, we're here with a story of, uh, about Tyree Nichols. Um, the cops, that the five black officers that beat him to death. One of the officers evidently is taking a plea deal. And he's testifying against all the other officers. So, he's going to get on the stand. And he's going to, for once at a blue moon, he's going to tell the truth. Because this boy is running scared because he don't want to go to prison. So, he's going he to rat all the other ones out. What you think about that, Jamal? I'm not surprised. This day and age, cops killing innocent people. I'm not surprised. They liars. They liars. If you can't trust none of them, black, white, orange, green, purple, polka dot. If if they if they got a badge and a gun, you can't trust them. You better run. <laughs> I play the video. Police and the testimony is coming from a former officer who was on the scene that night. Former Scorpion Unit member Emmett Martin was the first officer to see Tyree Nichols in. January of 2023. Today, he took the witness stand in the federal trial of Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, and Justin Smith. Our WRG's April Thompson is live at federal court in April. Plenty of people have been waiting to hear what Martin has to say about. Before we continue, we got remember we got this from News Channel Three Studio. Yeah, subscribe, right. leave a like, leave a comment, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, yeah, that's cool. get in more. What happened that night? They have, especially since now that he is testifying against the other three officers. And one thing that we continue to hear Martin say in his testimony, we lied and exaggerated mm. to justify what we did. Now, I'm not Martin, surprised. Former member of the Memphis Police Department Scorpion Unit, describing the deadly encounter that led to the unit's demise and Tyree Nichols' death. Martin testifying for the prosecution in the federal trial of Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, and Justin Smith, laying out how he was the first to see Nichols speed up to make it through a red light and gave chase. Martin admitting he didn't know how fast Nichols was going, but that a chase for a traffic violation was against MPD policy. It would be the first of several policy violations Martin testified mm. he and other officers committed that night, describing how he, Demetrius Haley, and Officer Preston Hemphill surrounded Nichols' car, yelling, get the expletive out of the car and get on the ground. I'm going to tase your expletive. Martin said Nichols was never resisting and there was mm. no reason to tase him, mm. which he did. Yeah, Martin yeah. says by the time they caught up with Nichols, who managed to run away, to Darius Bean and Justin Smith had him on the ground, hitting him with a closed fist. Mm. He said Desmond Mills took out his baton and started hitting Nichols three times on the arm. And that was against policy since Nichols was not a threat. Martin admitted he should have stepped in. But instead, he said, I punched him in the face five times wow. with a closed wow. fist. When asked why he did it, Martin said, I was mad. I was already on edge prior to even getting there. We tried to get him in custody, and it wasn't working. He ran, and that's what happened. Martin said Helly delivered a vicious kick between Nichols' torso and head. Mm -hmm. Martin said he also added to the kicks saying Nichols' body jerked. Mm. He admitted kicking is not a trained police technique. One thing Martin maintained, out of all the officers on the scene, no one told the other to stop or wow. pull back. By the time their lieutenant, Dwayne Smith, showed up... It's a, a straight-up assault on one skinny man. One man, four big old huge... Burly... I, I, won't, I won't say a word, <laughs> but I, I won't say it. Is that right? I, I mean, they, the the good old boys didn't train them. They didn't train them uh, to mm -hmm. do what they do. Yeah. I mean, this is what police do. This is what police do. They lie. 
they hurt people and they make up stories to justify their actions. And that's why, you know, when you, when you see a cop, they, they have you down beating the living daylights out of you. The first thing to holler, stop resisting, stop resisting, stop resisting. And you're not even resisting. Yeah. You're just trying to keep them getting hit. And they holler to stop resisting. Like, I won't lay there like a dummy and let you beat me. Hey, you might as well. They're going to beat you anyway. You might as well collect that money. Wow. I'll play some more. He says no one mentioned the punches and kicks they had delivered to Nichols, saying if they did, they would have been charged. Instead, they told him Nichols was high, something mm. they didn't have evidence wow. of, and that he was, was driving high. into oncoming traffic and got out of his car swinging, wow. and saying they had to justify his actions to justify theirs. Martin also testified to a code that was a general understanding. I'm not going to tell on them, and I know they're not going to tell on me. Not going to put them in a situation where they get in trouble. It was an understanding. Basically, we did what we needed to do. I wasn't going to tell on them, and they weren't going to tell on me. And Martin's saying a lot here in court today. Bear with me, if you will. Martin also testified he gestured for Mills to take off his body camera because he didn't want it to catch what they were saying after the beating, saying it was common practice to remove the camera, mm -hmm. leave it running on the car. He'd seen other people do it, so he did the same thing. Mm -hmm. He also said the assault report the department wrote up for him since Nichols was trying to take Martin's gun, what mm. he said happened that was, a lie. was also full of untruths, as well as Martin's own response to resistance report. Even down to the lack of information they gave dispatch and EMTs and first responders about Tyreek Nichols' injuries. They never told anyone what they did. Wow. Right now, I'm Martin surprised. is still on the stand. He is being not questioned surprised. by the defense attorneys now. They're bringing out how Martin is... So I got a question. Did that... Did God die or what? Yes. Oh, he died? Yeah, he died. Mm -hmm. That's why they've they been charged. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. A substantial um, assistance in his own case for his testimony here and how he never mentioned Tyree's first question to officers that night they pulled him out of the car, saying Nichols never told them, saying Nichols did tell them, why y'all always expletive with me? Martin says he didn't mention it, because no one ever asked. Reporting live, I bet they did. Channel 3, I'm April Thompson. Uh, well, did I'm, anybody ask if you were telling the truth? They sure did. Well, not much more we can really say on this story. I mean, yes, you can. And we all know what's wrong. But I mean, can 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 you not just be safe around your own people? Well, they figured. Well, since they're all black, they could get away with it. Why would you want to get away with killing somebody? Why would you want to? Why would you want to? You gotta ask them that. Don't ask I mean, me. Your, your job is to protect and serve. They said, you know, they they were mad because they had to chase him down. That's no reason mm -hmm. to beat the snot out of the out of a man, kicking him and beating him in the face with your fist five times. You know, you mm -hmm. tried to you tried to break his face by hitting him. Well, this also lets you. Let you know, stay out of Memphis, Tennessee. Well, you, if that's the case, you gotta stay out of everywhere because if you if, if these kind of cops are everywhere, they're not just in Memphis, Tennessee, a lying devils. That's why you, mm, I can't stand the police. I can't stand them. I can't stand them because they're a bunch of liars and murderers. The bad ones make the good ones look bad too. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm 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 sure there might be some good ones. I don't know. The bad ones so many of the bad ones you can't tell who's good and who's not until until they pull out the gun and shoot you. That's true. I mean, you know being black in America is a horrible, horrible thing. It's a new crime. You never <laughs> know. When your last day go to be out there mingling around out there with those killer cops on the loose. The trick of happy killer cops. All because he ran a red light. Yeah, well, I guess the light turned red as he was going under because then he speeded up to go under. It must have been yellow and it turned red as he probably as he was going under it. 
I mean, they should have just let him go. Big deal. It's real. He's on. He ain't hit nobody. He ain't hurt nobody. Let him go. But you know, they have to do what what Masa told them to do. Masa says you're supposed to beat, kill, shoot. You know, do that. Be a good old boy and arrest somebody. And you know, that's what you're supposed to do. So they will. They learn their lesson from Masa and they put it into play. Now. Now, big bad boy scared to go to the big house, so he's up there ratting on all the all the other officers. Well, what happened to the thing he said? I won't tell them. Them they won't tell him. Me. <laughs> he didn't want to go to the big house. He knew he knew he was going down. Is that right? And, and you know he and he took a plea deal. I guess the other one's going to be bad and stick together. They know old Emmett will go take a plea deal and turn on him. I sure did. Well, until next time, people, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell us what you think of these police officers. Like, uh, like this video. You go down there and like this video. You know you like it. You know, I'm trying to keep you informed on what's going on out here in the in the community. Well, not out of my community, but what's going on in the world. Put it that way. So, you know, just uh, smash that little like button and, you know, and oh, and I want to say say thank you to all my new subscribers. I see you. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. So until next time, folks. We're out.